What's good, what's good, what's good, YouTube, it's London Stacks here. So today I'm going to be talking about three ways in which you can advance the crypto space. Now this is not going to be for everybody, but these are just a few things that I've thought about that um, could help advance the crypto space. Now, of course, the cryptocurrency scene is going to be growing no matter what, whether we do these things or not. Um, as long as we're trading, exchanging, um, you know, as long as we're buying cryptocurrency um, and these uh, technologies keep coming out, this, the industry is just going to keep growing. But these are more for people that want to be active um, and just do things that involve cryptocurrency. Um, and these are things that I'm going to be doing. So again, you might not like it. You might just think, okay, these things are silly. I was looking for something a bit more practical. or It just might not be what you were looking for. But these are the things that I'm going to be doing. And I think these are great ideas. So the first is to simply tell people. Um, this can get a bit annoying for some. Because when you start to tell people about things that they don't know about they get defensive, they get scared, and they just kind of disregard everything you say. And that does happen a lot with cryptocurrency. It happens a lot with investments, business. It happens a lot with most things because they're out of people's comfort zones. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't talk about them. Um, there's a saying that says, when the student's ready, the teacher will appear. And that's the same, that's that, that goes for every single thing there is to know on earth. When you start to talk to people about cryptocurrency, what happens, even if they disregard you or just like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll get into it another time. What then happens is you've planted that seed in their head and no matter what happens after that, when they do hear of cryptocurrency or they're scrolling through YouTube or something pops up or something big happens in the news, the first person they're going to think about is you. This guy was talking to me about cryptocurrency a few months ago. I'm going to go to him. He must be an expert now. I'm going to go and talk to him. And then that opens up the dialogue for you guys to then, you know, build something or just to get them involved or give them more information. And then that's how it grows. Word of mouth stands the test of time it's always going to be there and we shouldn't be discouraged from um telling people about it just because people most of the time it's just beyond their level of comprehension so yeah tell people the second one is to accept crypto payments now this is my favorite one because um i have an online business and i've always accepted paypal as payment and that's always been the standard and everybody knows about paypal um but accepting crypto payments means that they see it when they're checking out i know a lot of people or most people that visit the site will not have cryptocurrency um but I have been planting that seed there. And when they go on the website, they will see Bitcoin accepted here, Litecoin accepted here, and various advertisements of that sort. And then what you do, what this is the main thing, what you need to do is make sure that whatever you're selling, um, the crypto price, you set it to 20% less, um, 10% less, you know, so you're charging 80% of the usual price to the person if they... Um, pay by cryptocurrency and this serves as an, as an incentive for them to use cryptocurrency and um, yeah that that kind of goes without saying so I'm going to show you a way that you can accept crypto payments okay so I use WordPress as the back end on most of my websites and I accept payment through WooCommerce which is probably the most popular one and on WooCommerce there are loads of um, additions there are loads of plugins sorry that's the correct word <laughs> there's loads of plugins that allow you to accept various payment sorts and do this and that and add some really cool features in so i've got a few of them up here and the first one is bitcoin payments for woocommerce by bitcoin bay and um pretty straightforward it accepts bitcoin payments um i'm not sure if it accepts any other payments let's see payments, uh, alternative main currency okay it looks like it's just bitcoins just bitcoins um wordpress is all quite straightforward and if the plugin's not good you'll know about it people will make it be known and also you you um install it test it out if you don't like the way it runs you don't like the back end just uninstall it delete it deactivate it, and put on something else next one is crypto pay 
for WooCommerce. Crypto Pay is quite good. Um, I've used Crypto Pay, or I had it set up, and it is very, very straightforward. Um, you can go straight to their website and um, sign up and check out exactly what they have to offer. So it's cryptopay.me and you yeah, you go to accept bitcoins and start accepting payments today blah 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 blah. Create an account. And okay, the, this is this is the best part. No chargebacks, no fraud. If you've dealt with selling digital products online um and you've dealt with PayPal then I'm sure you've dealt with chargebacks and fraud. It's just the the worst thing ever. But when you've had a PayPal account for a long time, they tend to be a bit better. They tend to deal with you a bit better. But this whole buyer is always right thing is just awful. So yeah, no chargebacks, no no fraud, which is good if you're an honest business person. It's good for them as well. If you're accepting cryptocurrency as an alternative payment method and they trust your site already, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, Access to international markets, I mean, okay. No need to comply with PCI DSS. Um, This is a big one as well because when you... When you usually accept credit card payments, if you're not using a middleman, you need to go through and sign up um, and get your merchant ID and blah, 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 and be... DSS compliant or PCI DSS compliant and sometimes you can be refused which is why people use SOFOR and other payment methods so they can avoid that and then you end up paying crazy fees so the next one of course is no low fees and no rolling reserves so that goes again with PCI DSS Um, yeah and that's crypto pay that one looks quite good as well quite quite straightforward this one i think you can yeah bitcoin and altcoins so that makes it a bit better as well next is go to go url woocommerce um go go url.io is their website um 100% open 100% free open source plugin um provides a cryptocurrency payment gateway for woocommerce accepts pay okay this is this is it except bitcoin litecoin doggy coin dash speed coin red coin pop coin you can see it all here it accepts quite a few coins i don't know much about those last coins but it accepts them so that's good um and all the usual no chargebacks blah 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 now the one that i'm using or the one i have installed now coinify bitcoin payments because we know Coinify. I mean, well, we should know Coinify. When you go to buy um, Bitcoin through blockchain.info, um, it's through Coinify. And I think maybe a lot of companies use Coinify. But this one's my favorite because it accepts 17 digital currencies. So it's obviously going to accept the top ones and then a few others that are coming up. No setup fees, no merchant transaction fees. Um, if you so if you request a hundred dollars, you get paid a hundred dollars. It's really simple, no chargebacks, and it's Coinify. It's trusted, and uh, yeah. So that's the one I've 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 got. And the third is learning how to code, and that one again. The, these three these things might not be people will just might look at them and just be like, okay, this is silly. I was expecting something different, but again, this is for somebody that wants to be more active in cryptocurrency um so telling people of course anyone can do accepting crypto payments you do obviously have to have some sort of business but whatever you have whatever business idea you've got find a way to implement cryptocurrency just find a way to implement cryptocurrency i think that's the main thing here um learning how to code it seems like oh well that's just it that's just silly isn't it that's not the effect i'm i'm trying to get to here my my friend the, the person that told me about um genesis mining and you know we we talk about cryptocurrency all the time she has started learning how to code and um she's finished her course and she it's, it's obviously it's not as simple as you know you don't just finish the course and bam you can create facebook but learning how to code means that you understand various languages and you can understand the technologies that a lot of these cryptocurrencies are um the platforms and whatnot that they're building on and all of these things so you can understand the actual process more and what 
cryptocurrencies that you're investing in what that actually means what they mean and you know things like that and not only that these platforms you'll be able to build on so Lisk, ethereum like people are building on these platforms there's there's a lot going on that is a lot deeper than just here's a coin you know it's, it's just there's just so much more to it um and if you're not going to learn how to code it if it does look too daunting a task to do teach your kids how to code get your kids into learning how to code and i said to myself that's the that's the first thing that i'm going to do when my child is of age he's going to be learning how to code <laughs> and there's so many ways you can do it there's scratch there's there's so many applications but i'm not going to get into that now so yeah that's it guys those are my um three ways you can you know sort of be more active in cryptocurrency or try and advance the crypto space um be really interesting to know what you guys think um if you've got any other things that are more you know practical things to do um i'm definitely interested and especially things with business if you've got any ideas that you can include um on your website and things like that. I noticed there are quite a few plugins on WordPress. There's also four set plugins. There's also, um, you know, just uh, things to accept Bitcoin donations and whatnot that much easier. Um, so again, the, even these things, when I mentioned going um, learning how to code, these people have coded these plugins and it's just simple things like that the fact that they have interest in cryptocurrency and they've made plugins that relate to that interest that that you know if they didn't do that we wouldn't have those so um that's something to think about or maybe not let me know what you think in the comment section thanks again for everybody that's been subscribing of, of recent and commenting and whatnot and watching the videos i really appreciate it going to keep putting out content and try and work on creating some really good quality content for you guys um uh, i really hope you found this video useful and uh yeah until next time peace